Nemesis, it is finally here. After so much waiting, yes, I didn't get it in the first wave. I've been waiting for the second wave and I've got it all in one go. And here it is. And I'm going to unbox it here on the joy of unboxing. You know, sometimes I receive a box full of games and I wonder what they think when it comes through customs. They put a big heavy thing on it. It's been security screened. I mean, why did they look? Could it be something to do with the art on the outside of the box? I mean, what is that? Anyway, let's have a look inside. I've already had a quick look, but I wanted to show you how this is packed because everyone who has ever run a Kickstarter, please watch very carefully as I show you how things should be packed. Look at this. It has custom made inserts and you can see how the boxes are kept away from the edges where the corners may be mashed. Um, very safe, so we take that out of its snug little spot. And there's another bit here. Oh, that looks nice. And then we take out another layer. And look at this, we've got a stretch goals box. And that's also sitting on its own thing. And then what have we got here? It's an art book. Look how snug that is. Everything is beautifully protected. We take this bit out. Look at all the protection that's got in the corner. Take that out and there's the main box at the bottom. Oh, yep. Look at the size of that, it's huge. Um, I can actually get that out with one hand. And there's something else down the bottom here as well. Yeah, yeah. Kickstarter bonus content. Wow. Beautifully packed and protected. And as you can see, I've received everything in perfect condition. That's how you box a Kickstarter, folks. And look at this. What a thing of beauty it is. Look at all that stuff. I'm going to unbox this for you now and show you what you get in a full Nemesis pledge. In fact, when I originally backed this game, which was way back in January 2008, in fact, I talked about it on an Action Points episode for that month, um, I just got, uh, I forget the name of the pledge, but it wasn't the whole lot. Um, and then later on, of course, they decided to break everything up into two waves because it took them longer to print all the extra stuff than they expected. So I didn't pay for that because the shipping for me is already very expensive because I'm way down in New Zealand. So I've been waiting quite a while. And when the reports came in about how good the game was, I went back and ordered everything. Decided to get the whole lot. So here it all is. The original Kickstarter campaign raised three million pounds. That is a lot of money, boys and girls. Very, very successful for Awaken Realms. They're really going from strength to strength. And in fact, uh, I've also backed Tainted Grail by them. And uh, there's another one coming as well called Ether Fields. So a lot coming from this company and they've been very successful. So it does feel like a long, long time since I backed this. I've been waiting for it for ages and I'm very, very excited to unbox it here with you. So enough of my yapping on, let's get into it. Nemesis. Well, this really is exciting. Oh, I'm really excited. I've been waiting for this for so long. And uh, it's really spectacular looking thing. Look, this is just the core set. Look at the size of this box, absolutely huge. And you can see heaps of stuff in there, miniatures. If you don't know anything about Nemesis, it's a one to five player game. Yes, you can play it solo. Space Survival, it's uh, got an alien uh, Giga-esque feel to the whole thing. We've got horrible alien creatures and crew members trying to survive on a spaceship. As it says here, it includes cooperation, bluffing, backstabbing, and all other elements of an iconic science fiction horror adventure. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wonderful. So, well, it's time to unbox it and see what we've got in here, eh? Let's have a look. Ah, it's moments like these. I really enjoy being a gamer. The excitement of a new game. The adventures ahead. The laughs. The fun. The enjoyable hours with friends. It's what it's all about. Okay. We have a rule book, of course. Um, you, you can watch a video, it says there, if you want to do that. Now, of course, you know by now that I will be doing a rule summary and reference for this game. So, hopefully you won't have to go through this rule book too often, because I'll summarise it all in just a few sheets. 
but it all looks nicely laid out there. As you can see, it's quite involved. Lots to take in. Game modes, solo and cooperative. Playing as an intruder. There's an alternative side to the board as well. So there's our rule book. Room sheet. Basic rooms one. Hmm. Wow, additional rooms two, special rooms. Looks like there's lots of nitty gritty detail. That's another summary sheet. There we go. Now we get into the cardboard. And these look like various different types of rooms. Monitoring room, command center, surgery. Oh dear, performer surgery procedure. Blah. There we go. Intruder board, intruder weakness. Mm. Very nice. Oh look, it's just falling out there. Nicely die cut, which is good. Okay, it looks like some character boards here. I've got the captain. Uh, the mechanic. Some more rooms. The scientist. The pilot. We've got a soldier. And a scout. He's in a very relaxed position there. <laughs> Lots of counters. Uh, this looks very intriguing. It looks like some kind of box line like arrangement. Um, and here's our board. And it's a big, thick board. Let's have a look. And here's the board. And as you can see, it is absolutely huge and quite stunning. And I'm sure when we start putting on different rooms and things like that, and of course, when the miniatures are on it, it's going to look spectacular. Um, beautiful big board and of course it's double-sided so looks like there are two completely different configurations of board there I'm not sure whether one's basic or advanced or how that works but certainly a lot of board for your buck okay what do we have here it looks like a very nice insert and I like that it's even got a lid on it with the name of the game embossed in it that's very nice and look at this Ooh, lovely stuff. Don't know what these things are. I haven't read the rules yet, of course. So this is the first time I've opened it, so I don't know what these objects are. Uh, insert contamination card here. This looks like it's some kind of interesting way of reading a special card. Infection procedure. Ugh. Ugh. It's going to be so horrible. We have some clear counters. Some red cubes, some miniature base color coders, some little standee bases, a nice little nemesis bag. Uh, these are, what are these? Ah, flame tokens. Oh, very nice flame tokens too. Mm, so many goodies. These look like some gear tokens of some sort. Some kind of broken gear. Pack of those. Some very attractive dice. I love these translucent dice. Lovely. Here's a nice little touch. The little wells in this plastic insert aren't square. They're molded so you can get things out of them easily. So if I take some of these counters you can see it's kind of easy to get them out. They don't get stuck in the corners. It's a nice touch. Oh, these look nice too. What are these? This looks like some kind of alert token. Um, I'll show you the miniatures a little bit later. And we've got another tray. Gee, I love the packing. And we've got lots and lots of cards. We'll go through those in a sec. And some large miniatures, including... Oh, look at that. Oh, okay, let's go through this stuff one by one. Well, here are the miniatures you get in the core set. And aren't they stunning? Really beautiful alien stuff. Let's have a closer look. There's three of these guys. They're called Creepers. And you can see why. Ugh, aren't they horrible? <laughs> Imagine that creeping towards you at high speed. 
Then we've got six larvae. Ugh. And of course, what alien game would be complete without some kind of insectoid menace that tries to plant itself in you and burst out through your chest and... Ah! It's horrible! Great figures. And I love the fact that all these figures have uh, molded bases as well. So all you have to do is give that base a bit of a metallic colour and a bit of a dry brush and Bob's your uncle. There are six characters. Here they are. They look great. Detail is beautiful. The plastic is hard. The bases are great. Very impressive indeed. Really lovely miniatures. These ones are our adult intruders. They come in four different sculpts and there are eight in total. And as you can see, they are horrific. Wonderful stuff. Ah, look at that. Very alien looking, of course, but with a lot of character and quite a unique, horrific look. Yes, how'd you like to meet something like that in a dark science fiction spaceship corridor? I know I wouldn't. Really lovely miniatures. The detail is fantastic. And they're really high quality. Great stuff. These horrible looking things are called breeders. I really don't want to know why they're called breeders. But there you are. And finally, the queen. A huge and horrible looking spiky monstrosity with kind of a praying mantis head and insectoid and oh, yeah, it's just frightening. Look at that base. Oh, there's all kinds of little horrible things coming out of the base. Ah, oh, it's enough to give you nightmares. Truly horrible. In a good way, of course. I must point out again how wonderful this storage system is. You can see there's a space for every miniature. It's all integrated with the components as well. And of course, they've thought of space for sleeved cards as well, which is a great touch. I like to sleeve my cards these days, so I'm really impressed that they've allowed for extra space for that. Very, very nice package indeed. Well, cards anyone? As you can see, there are a lot of cards that come in a game of Nemesis. So let's have a look at them. We've got 60 action cards and there are 10 for each of the characters. As you can see, they come color coded. And beautiful artwork on every single one. Lovely looking cards. The graphic design throughout is just impeccable. Beautiful stuff. Then we've got 20 intruder attack cards. Oh, look at that. Yep. That's going to be a tough old time for the crew people on this ship. Great artwork. Very nice. And inevitably following on from that, a serious wound deck. Ah, oh, my arm. Oh, leg. Oh no, there's targeted wounds, body. Oh, bleeding. Oh, and. Oh dear. Then we've got a deck of event cards. So much beautiful artwork. Wow. Those look quite beautiful. And this game is getting fantastic reviews as well, so it's not just a pretty beast, it's a really good game as well. Character draft cards. Something to do with picking your character, obviously. I was trying to work out what these were, and they're promo cards. Just giving you a bit of artwork on some of the components of the game. Nice little touch. These look like uh, reference cards and to show you which player you are in the player order. Some intruder action cards. These are used in the advanced game, not the basic game. There's a deck here of objective cards. They come in a couple of different types. And there's also objectives for solo and co-op mode. Cutting off the head. No man left behind. 
and women too I hope special delivery clean up crew now onto the smaller cards we've got some coordinate cards don't know what these do intruder weakness let's hope for the crew's sake they have a lot of those Then we've got a whole lot of items and they come in various different types. These are all medical items. I'm a bit worried about how many medical items there are. <laughs> but uh, no doubt they'll come in handy. We've got a deck of technical items. Energy charge, clothes, yep, clothes will be handy. Chemicals, fire extinguisher, tools. That's good. Duct tape. Duct tape. Always useful in every situation. Very good. Nemesis plans. Mm. Then we've got, of course, military items, which I'm sure will come in handy as well. Grenades. Pistols. Come on, give me a flamethrower. It's got to be a flamethrower. Recon. Drone. Smoke grenade. Extended magazine. Ooh, decoy. I'm sure there's a flamethrower in there somewhere. Crafted items, one use antidote, taser, ah there it is, classic weapon, flamethrower, of course there had to be a flamethrower, Molotov cocktail too, that's good. And then finally we've got uh, these cards, I'm not exactly sure what these ones do, these appear to be uh, starting items for the different characters. Plasma torch, intercom, there you go. That's all the cards. Well, I almost feel as if I have to sit down and take a little rest after that. There was so much stuff in the core box. It looked beautiful. I'm highly impressed. I was expecting something impressive and I've got something impressive. It's great. But it's not over yet. That was just the core box. There's more to go. And here is the stretch gold box, aftermath and void cedars. What are, are all these things? I don't even know. I'm... <laughs> I didn't actually do a whole lot of research on the game. It just looked so good and the reports were so good that I just decided to go for it. So I don't know what they all are, but I think we've got some different alien types and uh, who knows, let's discover it together, shall we? Okay. So, Aftermath Expansion Manual. Which game mode should I cho choose? I don't know. We've got a pretty amazing team over there at Awaken, don't they? I mean, the, the art is great, the graphic design is beautiful. Um, pretty impressive stuff. New traits and characters. Other Aftermath components. Looks like there's a lot of play time in this game. Epilogue mode, research mission mode. Wow. Okay, lots of stuff to consume. Then we've got the Void Cedars expansion who are a bunch of completely different aliens, no doubt with their own horrific special abilities. Gameplay changes, and they look as if they've got tentacles. Of course they've got tentacles! Rule summary, wow! Uh, we've got some cardboard bits, uh, a new character, the medic. Oh, more new characters! Oh, I remember them talking about this one, the Android. During the Kickstarter campaign, they uh, allowed people to vote on the look of some of these new characters. Uh, we've got the CEO, ah, an old dude with an Android. That's a little bit alien, isn't it? Some more rooms. Oh, look, more. Bounty hunter and psychologist. Very interesting. More lovely counters. Ah, wow, there's so much stuff. Void Cedar Board, of course. The Convict. Ugh. Check him out. Wow. More counters. This looks like an extra board for something. Don't know what that is. Perhaps it's a shuttle or something. I'm not sure. And another lovely storage tray with miniatures and cards in it. Let's have a look. Well, we have a heap more cards, and again, they've been kind enough to allow extra space in the uh, storage insert to allow for sleeve cards, though really there are so many cards in the base game and expansions, it'll cost me a fortune to sleeve them all. Um, but they are such beautiful looking cards, aren't they? Uh, we've got actions here. Yes, these must be actions for all the uh, new types of characters. Again, heaps of great art. 
Here we've got a lucrative offer, personal requirements, mm, panic, all kinds of things happening. Void Cedar attack. Oh, look, there's just so much stuff here, it's quite astonishing. I mean, imagine if I'd got this game when I was 12 years old. I can, my head would explode. It really would. It's truly amazing what you can get these days in the world of gaming. Um, these, oh, we've got a whole mix of stuff here. Events, serious wounds, alerts. All kinds of things to add to the base game. So much variety. Wow. And there's some extra little packs. All individually packed. Right, let's look at the miniatures. Oh, one thing I did notice here is a timer. This takes me back to Space Hulk, of course, so there's obviously a timing element in this game which makes it even more horrific and scary. Oh, and remember, folks, when you get a game like this that has an insert with lots of miniatures in it, take a quick photo of it before you take the miniatures out because then you'll be able to remember where all the miniatures go afterwards. Well, we have two cats, so I'm very happy to see um, a cat astronaut here. I think that's uh, excellent. And I'm looking forward to painting that one up. I don't know why it's there, but I love it. Um, there's a little dog here. That's obviously used in the game because it's the right scale. We've got this horrific looking thing. This is obviously one of the void cedars. And I love the fact it's actually that it's not on a base. I know it's something a bit different. Um, horrific looking thing. Going to be very challenging to paint that one. Uh, this one has on a sculpted base. And as you can see, lots of tentacles. Truly horrible. Um, we've got a bunch of these guys who look quite threatening. <laughs> um, and these ones, which are a bit smaller. Horrible new alien threat. Great figures. Really, really good. We've got some guns here. They might come in handy. Um, some alien eggs. Got to have alien eggs. And then a whole bunch of characters. And they're great. Look, this is the uh, CEO guy who's being helped by an android. And um, they're really nice. So much painting to do. Looking forward to it, though. This is going to look beautiful, this game, when it's all painted up. Well, folks, if two alien races weren't enough, I've got a third one for you. The Carnomorph expansion. Here it is. Let's have a look inside. So many aliens. Really looking forward to playing this, though. I've got to set aside some serious time to learn the rules. Yeah. So this is one of the extras that I went back and got after the good reports about the game started coming in. There we go. We've got a Carnomorph board. And here they are. More cards, attack cards. I presume they're more of the same. And some small ones. And what have we got here? Two of this thing. I don't even know what's going on there, but it's truly horrible. My goodness. It's going to be interesting painting these. I've got three of those. And get a load of this thing. It looks like some horrific mashup of human and animal and I don't know what's going on. Great figure though, but ugh. And we've got quite a few of these small versions. Look at these huge scythe things and oh, the skulls. And, oh. Great figures. And there's a bunch of these. This looks like, I, I just shudder to say it, I think it's a rib cage. This reminds me of the scene in The Thing, of course, where, you know, the head peels off and starts running around by itself. Oh. Here's another one. This one's grown a tail and I just, it's, it's going to give me nightmares. There you go, the Carnomorphs. Just the kind of people you want to invite over for tea. Okay, let's pause now to appreciate a little bit of art. I've got the art book here. And this is just a series of bits of art taken from the game. It would have been nice actually to see a little bit of the uh, development of the game and some of the sketches and things. Um, but, you know, this is a nice thing to have. Now we've got Kickstarter bonus content. Wow. Now look, coming soon, Tainted Grail. I've backed that. 
That's Fall of Avalon, and um, that should be arriving not too soon off. I'm not sure if that's going in two waves or not. I haven't checked a, the Kickstarter page for a while. They must be working hard over there at Awaken Realms. Okay, first we have a sheet of counters. I have no idea what that does. A mysterious envelope. What's this? Ah. Oh, this is very nice. They did this uh, with this war of mine as well, which is kind of a, a personal thank you to you from the CEO, which is very nice. Um, a few notes about how to put things together. Um, oh, it looks like some stuff. Untold Stories. Oh, this is the uh, graphic novel. Fantastic. Look at that. It's huge. I wasn't expecting that to be so big. That's very impressive. Wow. That'd be nice. An art book for Tainted Grail. Oh, just to get you in the mood for the new game that's coming. What a lovely extra to put in. Oh, this is great. This looks like it has a few development sketches and things as well. That's really nice. Oh, great. I'm really looking forward to that game as well. But ah, don't get ahead of yourself, Peter. So a few bonus things. And uh, this looks like um, some cards from uh, Etherfields, which is the other one that they're working on at the moment. Wow. It must be a lot of hard work over there at Awaken Realms. They've got some amazing stuff uh, coming out. Really impressive games company. I should just mention again, all of this here is just extra bonus stuff that they through into thank you for backing their campaign and of course it promotes their upcoming campaigns as well but it's really high quality stuff you get this fantastic metal coin from tainted grail the art book cards from ether fields um, the comic the counters it's really just a lovely touch and makes you feel like you're a valued backer well my friends all good things must come to an end and this is the final piece of the puzzle it's the nemesis terrain expansion so let's have a look inside. I do love some 3D terrain to my games. It always enhances the immersion a little bit. Oh, look at this. It looks like a lot of doors. Hmm. Look at that. They're kind of alien looking doors, aren't they? The cracks in them. Oh, and these doors do come in different designs, I'm happy to see. Looks like something horrible was trying to get through there. And I don't know what these things are, but they're weird looking. They've got a lock on them. Very strange. Oh, look, there's more. These look like some horrible alien seed pods of some sort. Yes. Uh, we've got a poor, dead, and probably infected space-suited figure there. Another dead figure. That looks great. Look at the detail in that. That's a painting challenge all on its own. And finally, a couple of corpses lying on the floor, draining whatever hope you had left away. Well, my friends, I've finished. I don't know how long that took, but uh, it was a lot of fun going through all these goodies for Nemesis by Awaken Realms. And as you can see, look, I don't have to tell you, you saw yourself. It's quite spectacular. Uh, the quality level is incredibly high. Um, and I've come to expect that after seeing this war of mine, which was very high quality, um, and seeing what else they've got in the pipeline, they seem to be churning out some amazing stuff. And as I said, of course, the reviews have come in for this one and everyone seems to think it's a great game. So I think I'll be playing it for some time to come because there is so much content here and so many variations, different alien races, heaps of characters, so much stuff. So keep an eye out at the Esoteric Order of Gamers because, of course, I'll be doing a lot more with this game. I'll be painting the figures and I'll be doing a rules summary and reference. Though it may take a bit of time because, as you can see, it's quite complex. Thank you very much for watching. This is the Esoteric Order of Gamers, orderofgamers.com. I'm on Twitter and Facebook and Patreon and Instagram. 
So uh, check out all those places, especially the Patreon page if you want to support me. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Now it's time to enter some alien haunted spaceship corridors in Nemesis.